Good afternoon everyone. This is Teresa back with another origami lesson. Uh, today we are doing the morning glory for this little flower here. Um, and then just as a reminder, Friday I will be doing the little ninja. Um, and it is two pieces, so you have to make sure you have two pieces of paper to do the one on Friday if you're following along. Um, and just a reminder that I am going to be posting this onto my YouTube channel. Uh, so you should be able to see that tomorrow. And uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying the videos. So we're going to be doing the Morning Glory. Um, usually I would put color side down when folding because you want the color on the outside. But today we want the color on the inside. So that it shows up as the actual flower design. So because I'm using double-sided paper, it's a little more difficult to explain that. So I want the green on what is showing here. So I'm going to actually put that down so that it's my prom, prom, prominent number, uh, my pro, predominant color. Apparently English is eluding me today. Um, and then the red will actually show up on the inside where the flower is. So. That's how I'm going to be doing it today. And then the other thing you're going to need is a pair of scissors. Um, because we do actually have to cut it to make it a nice round shape. So let's get started. So once you've decided what color you want, if you're doing double sided like I am. Um, again, if you're only using the so single solid color, make sure it's inside. So uh, let's grab a piece that's white. So for example... I've got this one here. Um, if I want the orange to show as my flower color, I'm going to actually keep it on the upside and I'm going to use the blank white side face down so that when I fold, that's what's going to show up. Okay, so we're right now what we're going to do is fold it in half into a triangle. Again, lining up all your corners and making sure that corner is a nice tight corner. And always making sure your creases are nice and tight. Like that. And we're going to fold it in half again into another small triangle. And again, making sure that our corners all line up as best as you can. Sometimes the paper is not that square. And nice tight crease again. So once you've got that, we're going to do just like we did with the crane base. We're going to open this one up, this little mouth here. And we're going to flatten it so that this tip matches this tip down here. And once you have that all lined up, then you can fold it down and give your nice tight creases. Alright, once you do that, we're going to flip it over. And because it's folded in this direction and I want this crease to be really nice, the middle line here, what I'm going to do is reverse fold this whole item over just like that so it should be able to stand up on its own just like the sundial effect that we did in previous ones so once you've done that we're going to do the open mouth fold this corner into this corner make sure these don't separate these two corners here so if you have to just hold them down until you get everything aligned fold it and nice tight creases so once you have this very basic. So you have sh one, two, three, four corners. Nice little square. And we're going to put it so that the open end is facing away from us. So right now I've got the open facing away from me. Always make sure that it's orientated that way just because otherwise it'll get confused. So we've got our open end. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the top layer and we're going to fold it into the middle along this crease that we just made. And again, nice tight crease along there. And we're going to do the same thing to the other side. And just line those two corners up. Easier when it's on the table. So now you've got that two corners lined up. And we're going to flip it over. And we're going to do the same thing. So if, if you're worried about it going too high and not matching up, you can actually just follow the same corner as this so once you fold it it should just line up nice just like that and then the same thing on the other side so 
So it should be kind of a funny looking square. <coughs> All right. So with that done, make sure your upper side is still the open end. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this corner on the bottom and we're going to fold it into the center on an angle. So we're going to actually follow the line of the center down into a angle fold just like that. So you can see that there. And we're going to do the same thing to the other side. Just like that. And then we're going to flip it over and do what we did to the one side. We're going to do the other side. So again, follow the fold. And there you go. So you should have a nice narrow bottom and then it widens out to the sides here. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to cut across here. Um, make it easier to see. I'm just going to grab this little marker here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go from this corner here to this corner here. But we don't want to go straight across or it would be a square. So I'm just going to draw it out here. And we want to go up and around. So it's a little light, but I don't want it too big in case I don't cut the line very well. So what we're going to do is go up and over. So it doesn't matter. You don't want it too wide um, and too pointy. So don't go too far up on, on the center. So once you've done that, um, and if you want a perfect circular cut um, you can always find a small circular item um, tin cans or whatever depending on the size of the actual item so for example this if I wanted to get really technical I could just use this little lid here and then trace it out and it'd be a perfect circle but it's origami so it doesn't have to be perfect and you can always fix it later so I'm going to cut that off there There you go. Let's set that aside for now. So once you've got that, now it doesn't look like a very round object here, just like this one is. And we have just two more things. So what we're going to do is we're going to fold along this line here. Not this one here, but we want to go across this center line. So we're actually going to fold it across. See if we can get that line there. So just across this middle center line not the upper line here and we're going to fold it in half and it's thick so you got to push really hard so once that's folded you can unfold it all we needed that for was the line crease and then what we're going to do is we're going to make this nice flat section here so all you do is take this one hold the bottom here take this one piece here and hold it and then gently fold this back. Now these two pieces don't really cooperate. So this is where it gets kind of finicky. Take your finger and ever so gently pull that in there so that this one unfolds and then do the same thing on the other side. And now as you pull this one back it'll start to flatten on its own. And you just kind of have to Get that paper to cooperate sometimes and remember it's only paper so as long as you're gentle with it uh, you shouldn't tear if it does that's not a big deal it'll only tear a little bit as you can see here I didn't cut very well so it's torn a little bit and if I'm worried about that I can actually take my scissors later and cut the edges so right here I've got a little bit of overlap so what I'm gonna do is just cut that little bit off there and there we go. So now that I've done that with the red up, I actually have the red on the bottom and I have the green on the back. So it kind of looks a little bit like uh, a green stem and a red morning glory. And it's easy peasy. Just like that. The cool thing is with these, you can either make little bunches of them and put them on like a white background or colored piece of paper and you can glue them down and then draw little um, vines and make it look like a really cool um, kind of a 3D flower 
design. Uh, the other option is to, again, you can always make pipe cleaner. I'm just going to grab a pipe cleaner here. You can always take your good old fashioned pipe cleaners, and these things are great for all sorts of crafts, but it works great for origami. And I don't want really long ones, so I'm just going to cut them in half. If you want to use a pipe cleaner on it, very small hole at the bottom, just like that, and it'll open up a little tiny hole, and you just pop that through there. It'll cooperate with me today. And there you go. So now you can put these and you can actually intertwine them and make it look like vines just using the actual uh, pipe cleaners. And then you'd have a second one up here and you could put another one down there and you'd have lots of fun creating as many different designs as you'd like. So that's a nice easy video for anybody wanting to do a morning glory. Um, again, I will be posting this on to my YouTube channel. Uh, just go to youtube.com, search my name, Teresa Potts, um, and uh, feel free to check out all the other videos. Again, thank you very much for watching.